little, I, uh, almost on my way home from work, I decided I would just start a, uh, little podcast, little video cast, short coming, 10 minutes, here, you know, for someone on my mind, and I will get on here and talk about it, um, today, what's on my mind is our wonderful Supreme Court has issued a sort of confusing ruling. They've come down in favor of Obamacare's individual mandate. Um, however, not for the reason that the proponents of Obamacare uh, wanted them to. The, it was defended on the basis of the Commerce Clause. They said because of the Commerce Clause, the federal government does have the authority to make you buy insurance, health insurance, and if you don't, we can give you a fine. And they were very adamant. Barack Obama especially said, this is not a tax increase. This is not a tax. It was very important to them that they did not call it a tax. There are other um, previous laws that would have made it harder, so they thought, to pass constitutional muster if they had called it tax. Plus, Obama did not want to be seen as a tax increasing president. Uh, nobody ever wants to be seen, even though all of them always are. Uh, anyway, so it was it was defended on those bases. However, the Supreme Court ruling came down. It was written by Justice Roberts, and he said that it is a tax, and the government has the power to tax. But, uh, you know, I, also, I, haven't, I haven't read it. I've read some excerpts from it. From what I understand, he took away some of the teeth in the bill. I guess that's a good thing. Um, he made it he made it so that the federal government could take away state funds, state Medicaid funds, or whatever, if states nullified this or just enforced it. And, and that's and ultimately that I think is going to be the solution is that states finally get some courage, and, and many states have, albeit without a lot of teeth, in other areas to nullify federal laws. Um, and if states can't, the cities should counties, you know, and then obviously you have the power, which nobody does, right now to the individual. Um, anyway, so that's that's the big brouhaha on the news all, you know, today is, is this ruling, I, you know, it'll be an interesting next, um, it'll be next year's next few months, next few years, really, I guess 2014 is when this all um, goes into effect, and of course, you know, Things are going to change on the business front, the small business front. I work for a large company. Um, you know, I've got health care. I've got health insurance for them. Will they um, look at their costs going with this or doing something else? I mean, will there be changes in big companies? Well, the landscape, I think, is going to change, and I don't think it's going to be for the better. I think it's going to be for the worse. Right now, I just wanted to also say that if you go to Mises.org, M-I-S-E-S.org, they have an Obamacare reader list that has 20, 30 articles pretty much explaining why Obamacare is going to fail. It's going to fail. These schemes always fail, and when they do fail, they're always used as, that's always used as justification for new schemes, which will, of course, fail and justify new schemes. And ultimately, government grows, liberty yields, and at some point, will be incomplete certainly. And there will be violent revolutions and this and that, which I, I, I do not support. Because violence is not the answer. We must ignore the state as best as we can. We must live our lives. We must trade on the market, whether it's above ground or underground. It really doesn't matter. Um, and we must do what we can to um, you know, raise our families in, in love and peace. So it's going to happen, and it's, I don't, I don't want to say it's inevitable because we do have free will. However, as a generalization, collectively, it is almost inevitable. This, this is just, this is, all governments in the history of the world have taken this course. At some point, they get so bad that they are, they, they fail, they go bankrupt, or there's a revolution in the universe. It's just, I mean, history proves that. Anyway, so that's the big news today. That's, that's my opinion on it. Um, I'm, I'm an observer. That's what I am. I, I just, I'll just watch what goes on. You know, I'm one person. What can I do? I, 
I've got my blog. I, I just published my book, Everything Voluntary. Go to everything-voluntary.com. You can get that there. It's voluntary as a primer. Um, I, I plan on publishing some more of my own and some others. Um, and that's really what we can do. And I hope that we're all doing our part because I think it's an important fight. But the best front is the educational front. Um, I do not advocate for violence. I advocate for self-defense when it makes sense. But when it comes to the government, it does. So strategically, I'm not violent. That's what I am. Uh, anyway, so that's the podcast today. And uh, we'll see you next time.